try an initial vote. Initial vote. Uh, a little bit all over the map. So this this is a good one to talk about. This this one's tricky. This this one could plausibly have more than one right answer. Okay, second vote. Second vote. Second vote. Mm. No, I wouldn't say there's universal agreement on anything. That's okay though. This is a hard question, and there's it's kind of a matter of opinion which which of these you think could be used. Um, I didn't actually show an example of using a function as the argument of a validation, but you can actually do this. You can do it in cases where you want to be able to validate the, uh, an object that's coming in. You can write a function in line that is actually going to be handed a copy of the object at validation time. So just like a block, you can actually pass a block to the validation callbacks instead of defining a separate function. In that respect, you could say that higher order functions play a role in validation, but you don't have to use them. You could also do the simple thing we did in my example, which is just write a function and pass the name of the function. That uses metaprogramming in the sense that you've got to be able to turn the function name into a function reference at runtime and call it. So metaprogramming clearly plays a role. Um, closures and higher order functions tend to sort of travel in a herd. They travel together. So in examples where you, you decide to pass a function directly to the validator, you could say that that's a use of higher order functions and therefore of the closures that travel with higher order functions, but you don't always have to do that. So technically the right answer is all three of these contribute, but I feel a little bad putting the question in front of you because I haven't really shown you an example that uses higher order functions in validations. So in this case, you would have said that the, you know, if you said basically uh, C is, is a candidate, anything that includes C is correct, and if you said all three, you were also correct. Um, but I, I will show an example later on, if you guys want, of using an actual higher order function of validation. 